It seems that I'm beset with a curse to only own the odd numbered GoPros. First I had the Hero 3 Black, and then the Hero 5 Black, and today the Hero 7 Black. Released back in 2018, the Hero 7 Black was GoPro's flagship model for the time. It brought with it a host of major upgrades, including hyper smooth, hyper lapse, and live streaming support. Starting off with the design, the Hero 7 shares the same redesigned body that was released with the Hero 5 but this time in a soft touch black plastic. I've had mine for over a year at this point, and this harder case has proven much more durable than the soft rubberized exterior of my Hero 5. Other than the case material though, that's about all that's visibly changed. You can still navigate through the different shooting modes with the mode button on the side. You still have the same bright touchscreen on the back that makes configuring your GoPro super easy. You still have USB-C for charging, micro SD for storage, and the same rechargeable batteries that the Hero 5 used. And that's because most of the improvements for this generation here are under the hood. For instance, I found the battery life to be a big improvement, despite the much more powerful processor here in the Hero 7. When shooting 4 4K 30fps video, I get around an hour and a half of record time per charge, which is plenty. To put that in perspective, my Hero 5 Black runs for around an hour, it seems, on the exact same batteries. The batteries themselves don't seem to be particularly well made, though. Of the three I've owned, one actually swelled up to the point where it wouldn't fit in the GoPro, which is a little disconcerting, but your mileage may vary. Speaking of that more powerful processor though, it makes booting up and powering off the camera a tad bit snappier, and actually using the camera is a lot faster. The Hero 5 had a couple rough spots where the menus would lag as you navigated through them, but that's completely solved here on the Hero 7. The redesigned UI is a delight to interact with, and it makes setting up your camera a piece of cake. Another thing that more powerful processor does is not only support 4K 60fps video recording, but it can even do it with GoPro's hypersmooth stabilization enabled. The Hero 7 Black was the first GoPro to come with hypersmooth stabilization, and being able to use it at 4K60 is just icing on the cake. You can see here that even with the bumpy trail I'm riding on, the horizon is basically rock solid, which is really impressive. In a way, it almost looks like the camera is detached from the rider and mounted to a drone or something. It's really impressive, and it makes the plain old stabilization found on the Hero 5 and 6 look like hot garbage. The dynamic range and color science has also improved quite a bit. The extra dynamic range really helps make your shots more professional looking, and the highlight roll off here on the Hero 7 is much more pleasant to my eye than the earlier Hero 5. Now, what's less impressive is the video processing. Even with sharpness set to low, which is the lowest you can go, there's still a lot more sharpening going on than in past GoPro models. And what's worse, the noise reduction is so aggressive that you're going to lose all the fine detail in any scene that isn't lit with full sun and even some that are. This shot here is 4K 30fps footage shot at 78 megabits per second, and your average Bob Ross painting has more detail. As far as I can tell, you can't turn this noise reduction off, so my older Hero 5 actually looks a bit better in low light. So while I love the stabilization, the video quality isn't the quantum leap that you might hope for. And the microphone does what it's supposed to. The only thing I've ever used my GoPro's built-in microphone for is syncing audio, and the Hero 7 Black is not going to change that. And at the end of the day, that's kind of all there is to it. The Hero 7 is really just a spec bump on the Hero 5 and the Hero 6. And while bumping the spec does solve some of my complaints with the Hero 5, like the battery life and the limited stabilization, other complaints I had, like the flimsy plastic shells they snap into, still apply. But at least because the camera's the same size, you can use your existing shells that came with the 5 and 6. And for the going price of 150 bucks these days, it's a pretty compelling option. I've heard plenty of people complaining about GoPro's lack of innovation lately. But at this price point, you'll be hard pressed to find a more polished and reliable action cam experience than the Hero 7 Black offers. The smartphone app has worked perfectly for me, the footage is dead stable and looks nice enough, and you get access to the broad spectrum of GoPro mounts and accessories. And for that, I think the price of admission is well worth it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit like, get subscribed, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and I will see you guys in the next one.